in my previous demo, I did a um, conversion from network manager to network D. And network D is just a component of system D that allows for lightweight network configuration on the system. So in this demo, I'm going to expand on that by adding a network bridge. So just to recap where we are, I've got one a machine, simple setup with one Ethernet adapter. Um, if I do a network control, you can see that that adapter is being controlled by network D. And if we go into Etsy system D network, you can see my configuration file and that's what it looks like. So we're going to convert this setup to um, a bridge, which will have the address configured on it. And then the ethernet adapter will be a port on that bridge. So the first thing we need to do is create what's called a net dev file for the bridge, which basically def defines the network device. So I'm going to call my bridge bridge zero and uh, the file has to end in .net dev. Then you can come in here and say net dev um, name equals bridge zero and the kind of the network device is a bridge. And that's all that goes in this file. Um, because we're going to use the configuration from the existing Ethernet adapter on the bridge, the IP configuration, I'm just going to move this file to bridge zero network. And then we'll go in and change the match. So this needs to be bridge zero. All right. Then um, let's copy. I guess I copied it to it initially, but we'll just copy that as a so that we have a template for our ENP 0s25 network. Change this, uh, match the uh, Ethernet port. And then under network, rather than an IP configuration, we are going to um, tell it to become a port on the bridge. And so the network is just going to be bridge equals bridge 0. All right, so uh, I'm currently connected over an SSH session, and so if I just restart, I might be able to start it from here. Give it a try. Um, restart system D network D. All right, and as I expected, I got disconnected. So let me reboot it real quick. This setup is uh, useful. Um, in future demos, I'm going to show how to uh, set up containers on the system using machine control, which is another element of system D. And um, having this bridge allows uh, the containers to basically attach to a, to a network bridge, the outside network. And so they can, the, basically the containers can receive IP addresses from your um, outside DHCP server and all kinds of nice things. You don't have to do crazy port forwarding from the host into the container. The container has a, you know, a LAN facing interface of its own. So if we uh, get back in here, we can see that we now have a bridge with our uh, adapter configuration. If we do a bridge control zero, you can see that we've got a bridge and the interface is connected to it. And if we do a network, control, then this is kind of a thing in system D right now. Degraded just means that there's not an IP configuration on the adapter, which is what we wanted anyway. And it kind of shows it in yellow as a warning, but it's not a problem. This is the part that's important that the bridge is routable and configured and we can still ping Google.